Master of Mechanics, have my master's degree in, in mechanics, machinist, trade, and so forth. So I helped build a big Kellogg catalytic cracking unit. When it was done, and I went to the alkylation plant and helped finish the big fluor alkylation plant. And then when the uh, plant was finished, ready to go into operation, the assistant superintendent of the refinery called me up to the office and says, Woody, you're the only one that knows automation and electrical engineer in the country here. He says, we're putting you in charge of the big alkylation plant on the, all the automation. Boy, I thought, oh dear. <laughs> but I stayed with it. I did get gas poisoning there before it was all over with, hydrocarbon poisoning. After the war was over, I left the refinery and bought a ranch up in western Wyoming where I could live outdoors to get over the hydrocarbon poisoning. Yes, what did I do up there? I catered to Boy Scouts. I took them on pack trips, uh, big game hunting. Did I charge them anything? No, I never charged them a dime for nothing. I furnished the horses, the groceries, everything, and show them a good time, help them learn some real scouting that they just couldn't get in the city. That was in the Wind River country, up at what they call uh, Phillips Lake, Phillips Meadows, on Denwoody Creek, back up in the high mountains to Klondike Lake, where the only living glacier in the state of in the United States floating around on Klondike Lake, as there's iceberg floats around that lake the year round. Uh, that uh, that mountain is taller than the Grand Tetons. So what brought you to Utah? Sir? What brought you to Utah? You have three minutes of tape left. Oh, I was on a, right above our ranch, sir. One morning I woke up after a storm that night. I looked up the canyon, I seen smoke. Well, I knew there was a fire up there. I had to go 17 miles to a phone to phone the forest ranger. I told him, I said, there's a fire up in the vicinity of Sheep Mountain. And uh, by nightfall, we were up there. On that forest fire, I met up with a trail crew from Utah, all returned missionaries from Brigham Young University that had been returned missionaries that were there on the trail crew for the summer, earning money to pay their college tuition stuff. And at the close of the day of work hours, instead of going off with this rowdy bunch over here, I went with this bunch of missionaries. I, I liked them so well. They, they seemed so good to me. And uh, 